بسم اللہ ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو بائی ڈبلو ٹی پروڈکشن ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ایگزیکٹلی ہاؤ یو کین امپورٹ ایکسپورٹ یور ایم او وی فائل ان ٹو اے ٹرانسپیرنٹ ویب ایم فائل وچ از ویری یوزفل دیز ڈیز بیکاز دیر آر لاٹ آف پیپل اسٹریمنگ آن لائن گیمز اینڈ دیر فری لانس پروڈکٹس اور اینی تھنگ اینڈ دے نیڈ دیر اینیمیشنز ان ٹرانسپیرنٹ فارم ان اے اسمال سائز فارمیٹ وچ از کیپیبل فار اسٹریمنگ آن لائن اینڈ دس ویب ویب ایم فائل از ویری یوزفل فار دیٹ so there is a pro- huge problem in these adobe software that they do not allow you, you to export uh, your uh, web tra- animation as a webm file so you need uh, external factors for this and if you follow this uh, these steps then you will be able to export your file as webm before you reach any dead end in your projects so let's get started so right now i am in after effects but i have already exported my animation in uh, mov file format uh, by rendering this so i'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can uh, uh, use the software so this is a software called uh, ffmpeg yag so you can uh, just go ahead and download this and just install it in your computer and once you do that uh, then you will be you will have uh, an icon like this or you can just type uh, over here ffmpeg then you can you will open this software just double click over here and after the opening this you will receive this window and you need to select this second icon uh, sorry second line over here then you select okay after doing that you need to go ahead and have click add task so once you click add task then uh, you will receive a window over here and you can just select your file location i'm just going to go and select my file then you will see your file over here uh, then you need to select this uh, your file and just for in the format select webm so there are other formats as well but uh, uh, webm is most important uh, right now because we need to maintain the transparency of this mov file plus we also need to reduce the file size so for the codec you can just go ahead and select the default and for this bitrate just select uh, a higher value i'm going to select 20000 20000k and you need to add this k this is very important uh, because uh, this will give you a, a good quality for this so these are the just the steps and uh, next thing you need to do is just encode so this is going to take around uh, less than a minute or something depending on how uh, big your animation is so once this is done then you can see your uh, webm file once this has encoded properly then you will see that there are no uh, tasks avail- available over here or then you can just go ahead in your folder and you can just see that uh, you have this webm file now so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, open this so after opening this webm file then you can see that uh, the animation is running, running uh, properly and uh, this file believe it or not it is actually transparent but the transparency is not going to show in your any uh, media players or uh, any you know windows media players or these things you have to just uh, go in your obs or your stream and you have to check the transparency uh, but this is 100% transparent because i've tried this and uh, you can just go ahead and uh, enjoy your transparent stream Another important thing that I need to mention over here is that uh, once you have your After Effects or Premiere Pro or anything uh, by from which you are exporting the MOV file you need to make sure that you have a transparent background like this and you need to export it as an alpha channel So I'm just going to show you uh, what I mean by the alpha channel so once you export this file then you can select over here quick time and this RGB plus alpha so this is very important the alpha channel and the transparency background over there so uh, this was the main thing so i uh, so guys i hope you like this video and if you did please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and show your support so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching